Welcome everyone to uh, Never Back Down 2. Uh, thank you so much for your attendance. It means the world to us. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Dean. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Gillian. Hi. And uh, we are we're so excited to bring my first movie, her 50th movie. I don't know how many she's done so many. She's a pro. Um, we're so excited to, to be showing you guys today. Um, I'll give you a little, of, a little bit of a backstory. I, uh, the past three years, I've kind of been um, having a go at the acting world in LA. Um, there's a, a thing called pilot season, which, which is uh, through like January to about April, where you, it's like the most insane time for auditions. And um, I've learned so much. Most of you know me as a, as a musician, but uh, this time it's, I'm bringing you my first movie. And uh, so basically, I think it was two years ago? We would, yeah, a year ago. Oh my God. I know, it just see, it seems like it's taken so long to get it to come out. So a year ago, um, I auditioned in Australia, actually, for, for the movie. And uh, I put it down on tape. And I got a call a week later that uh, they want to fly me over. So that's, that's how I booked the movie. How did you book the movie, Gillian? Well, I told you, but here, okay, can you hear me? Um, we did a chemistry read together, and I, I replaced some Latina girl. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was love at first sight, <laughs> as, you, as you can tell. Some other blonde girls auditioning against me. That's about it. And, then... and they were terrible, by the way. There was, there was three girls. There was two blonde girls and Jillian. And the, the two blonde girls went before her. They were terrible. And uh, the director actually said to, to me after, uh, after she walked out of the room, there's something... Uh, this is his, um, I'm trying to impersonate his act. There's something going on with you two, isn't there? <laughs> and the studio had a bet on how long it would take until we were dating. And, and it was, it was pretty much it. <laughs> nobody, actually nobody on set knew that we were kind of dating <laughs> until about, I think, the last week of the movie. Um, but we, we both got a, a chance to meet the most incredible people, train with some of the most incredible people. And, um, yeah, it was, it was just... An unbelievable experience, and uh, I have to say, for, for those of you who are bashful, uh, you may see my butt in the film. <laughs> if if you don't want to, if you don't want it to be awkward between me and you, the next time we are face to face, just close your eyes. Um, so I guess uh, if there's nothing more you want to oh, say, oh, turn your cell phones off, or we'll kick your ass. Yeah, literally, we'll put Seriously? you into arm bars and. Rear naked chokes and all Thanks that for stuff. Coming. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. You think? Anything else? You seem to be doing fine. You baited him. Now reel him in. All right, come on. Uh, well, the movie is set around uh, four guys, four young guys who, who basically come together uh, through different circumstances. Um, they, they, they train together under, um, under an ex-MMA champion named Pace Walker. And basically they're training to uh, compete in this event called the Beatdown, which is this underground MMA fighting competition. Um, and yeah, so it's set around four different guys. You, you, you can't, throughout the movie you see their lives and, 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 and what they're kind of going through. And, um, and then of course Jillian just blows everyone away. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, so my role is uh, Mike Stokes, who's a young high school wrestler. Uh, he uh, basically comes into the, into, into the picture with all the other guys uh, through the fact that he's really angry that, the, that his dad has left him and his mother. Um, we find out that his dad is actually gay, but that's not the reason why he's angry. Uh, Mike's, actually, Mike's actually angry because his dad left him. Uh, so that's how he kind of gets the, um, the motivation to enter this competition. So what was your preparation like going to this movie? Was it a lot of hard training? You know what, it actually was, uh, a lot of us, I mean most of the guys in the movie, actually all of the guys in the movie had done martial arts before 
before we started. So it was it was it was like a, it was about two weeks of of, chore, of choreography training. I mean, we did we I mean each of us did weight training and running and whatever by ourselves, but. Uh, it was two weeks of like uh, learning the choreography, so it wasn't that much training. But you've been training for this your whole life. I've pretty been well, training. I think that's what it is, isn't it? I have. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's like a dream role for me, you know, because I've been doing martial arts my whole life. So. Yeah. And you didn't get to sing in this one. No, I'm pretty happy that. Uh, well, we all know you for being in, the, in the Australian Idol, you know. Yeah, well, look, I'm, I'm looking for that that special singing role. I don't think it kind of would have fit into Never this. Never back down three. Never back down three. It's like that's a musical it. number. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you're going to still kick some butt in that one, though. Oh, for sure, for sure. So what was the uh, scariest part of doing that movie? Uh, I think probably... Watching it? <laughs> probably watching the, 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 the sex scene with me and Julian. And, uh, well, I just spoke to your mother about that and she said this is the first time she's seen your bum in a long time. Yeah, in quite a long time actually. <laughs> um, and yeah, there was like 150 people there. So it's going to so be uh, thousands bit, more, believe me. A little embarrassing, yeah. So what was the, the funniest moment in the movie for you? The funniest moment was, uh, I think every day was, was kind of a funny... Oh, but Evan. 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 Evan, yeah, Evan's actually, the funniest. actually, Evan is the funniest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan, who who plays um, Dana, 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 Dana wanna be. Yeah. Welcome to the motherfucking beatdown. My name is Max Cooperman. I am president of the BFC, and I want to fucking know something. Are you ready for a night of weed smoking and rear naked choking, beer drinking, and guillotine sinking? And let's not forget, titties flashing. He was yeah, in the first the movie. Unbelievable. Thing. Every scene with that guy is is he all his stuff is improv. He adds so he the best moments. Yeah, yeah, and it's very easy to to kind of uh, stop like, burst out laughing. You got to really keep your cool in the scene, you know, because you just want to laugh at him. Um, he's he's such a great addition to the to the cast. Yeah. Uh, Jillian, I want to talk to you as well. And uh, what was your favourite parts in the movie? Pretty much every time Dean had his shirt off. Yeah, so the whole which movie, is, which is like the whole pretty movie. Pretty much the whole movie. <laughs> so you've been, you've done a, a few movies, and what was the preparation like going into this one? Any different? Uh, no, I think it's uh, this one. I actually, I think we had more time. Usually, uh, you get like maybe a week and a half, two weeks notice. This one, I think, what we had like over a month. Yeah, a month. We knew. Yeah. And I'll let you get back to your family. Thank Thanks you. again. Thanks. Cheers, guys. An angry mind is a narrow mind. Calm. What do you think of the movie, Stan? I just don't believe that what he was doing there, he could even do that. I don't know what he did even. Dean was, oh, kicks and all those uh, rubber guards and uh, arm locks and just rolling all over the place must have been very tiring for him, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you've put up better <laughs> preparation for that. Yeah, well, um, you know, it, I'm astounded by the techniques that, and uh, just uh, the whole film was very, well, very We had strong. a very good coach. I oh, know, no, <laughs> that's not me, his father more. Yeah, absolutely, Keith Guy, yeah. yeah. Great. And uh, I'm sure he's very proud of his son for these uh, great moves in that yes, movie. Yes, but a grandson like this, you know, it's just amazing. You go along and we made a few movies as well, but and it's very tame compared to this. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Thanks, Dan. I'll uh, join the rest of the family. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I think I see Keith Geyer here. He's the, the father of Dean Geyer, as you might know. What do you think of the movie? Oh, Graham, I enjoyed it very much. You must be very uh, proud of your son. Yeah, I am. You know what? Um, I was always hoping that one day he would be in a martial arts movie, and it was a great start to his career. You know? Well, he's like following his father's footsteps as well, because you've been in a couple of movies too. Um, yeah, a couple, but uh, not quite as good as that, I don't think. No, so uh, he can... Um, uh, it's part of his training would be the preparation would have been based upon what you've taught him. I think basically that's how he got the part in the movie. You know, because when he auditioned, um, he obviously um, showed what he could do. And I think 
with his acting ability, that's what they liked about him. You know? I believe he was singing in his audition, is that right? No, no, <laughs> no singing, he did a bit of groundwork, yeah. um, bag and pad work, yeah. and um, he auditioned in Melbourne, yeah. and then they asked him to come out to, to the States the following week. Well, most people know Dean from uh, coming runner up in the, in the Idol, but uh, some people may have thought that he should have been the winner. But now he's into movies, and he's going to be doing a lot more movies, I think. What do you think? Well, he's in Terra Nova, uh, the TV series, which has been screened on Channel, channel 10. Steven Bill? Steven yes, Spielberg. Steven Spielberg um, is a producer, and it's going to be screened on Channel 10 in about two weeks' time. Yeah, I know, it's starting very and, soon. Um, he's been asked, he's, he's going back to the States to audition for, uh, I think, Die Hard 5, as Bruce Willis' a, a son. So that's that's going to be cool. That's an audition that's coming up, so... So you know what, it's a start, the start of a, hopefully a good career. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks, Keith. I know you want to get back to your family now. Thank you okay, so thank much. you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Greg. I've just had a chat with uh, Dean's father, and I'm going to have a chat with Dean's mother. What do you think of the movie? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. And of course, because, you know, seeing Dean up there on the screen is very, a very proud thing for me. It's probably been a long time since you've seen his bum, certainly on screen. Yeah, that's true, absolutely. It's a little bit embarrassing, but no, just fine. Yeah. Uh, well, he did warn us about that at the beginning. He did, he warned us, so I was prepared, I was quite prepared. And what's his dedication been like in, in preparation and training towards that movie? No, it was, he was very dedicated, and he started training quite far, like a long time in advance. Um, besides the fact that, I mean, he's been training martial arts for all his life, but for the actual movie, I mean, it was... It was long, and he, he did he did lots of weights, but then all types of training. So you have to be prepared for that. You can't just go in there and. Looked like some good coaches there, in where they were training, and some guys were pretty tough, pretty strong. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that was one of the things he said he enjoyed about being doing this movie was the coaches he actually got to train, who he got to train with. You know. Well, he certainly looked great on screen. Thanks, Graham. <laughs> okay, well I'll let you get back to the family. Thanks for being on the show. Thank okay. you.